brighten this up a bit because the tunnel gets a little dark just so you can see the visuals uh, but otherwise uh, I'm gonna allow the car to do its thing once we get into a lane because drivers are very aggressive extremely aggressive here to try to get into this tunnel and I don't want the car to, to react negatively to someone doing something very aggressive so again you see here this is where if you see on the line even on the screen you can see it the cones denote two different lanes into the tunnel and all these cars have to funnel again into two lanes so these this side funnels into one lane that side funnels into one lane and they're effectively two lanes that you drive through in this tight tunnel all the while it's a very very tight lane as well with uh, little rubbery dividers in between and now it looks like it's getting a little bit worse because this these two lanes are now being funneled into now one lane because it looks like there's some construction going on here and we have a third lane here funneling into this this traffic condition so very very complex stuff these cones are temporary so sometimes they can change the pattern depending on what they're doing uh, in terms of traffic conditions and where they're routing it so again very very complex stuff that i think again should be a, a focal point for full self-driving conquering this again you can do pretty much anything Keep an eye on those cameras as well so you can see what's left and right of me. Doesn't like to re-engage right here, so that's good to know. Let me get into the tunnel and now re-engage here like I normally do. Once it allows me to do so. Okay, so someone may have seen our videos <laughs> and have disallowed uh, full self-driving beta in the tunnel right there. So I'm going to re-engage now. <laughs> I'll also brighten it up a bit here. So it didn't allow us to re-engage, and it also didn't allow us to engage. I'm going to go a little faster here just because the traffic behind me is piling up a bit. But it didn't allow us to initially engage with the cones in play. I had my photo in the accelerator. It was going pretty slow but it wouldn't allow us to engage with those cones in play. And then it wouldn't allow us to re-engage until the message sort of cleared and sort of reset itself. So that's a good indication. That's a good uh, situation where if autopilot was incapable or full self driving was incapable, it wouldn't allow you to engage it. So that's always a good sort of safety mechanism there. Pretty good so far to the tunnel. Same as last time. Nice and smooth, nice and composed, even though it's extremely tight lanes and very close to this wall right here. Does a pretty good job. Wants us to be in the right lane again. Uh, those bumpers are here, so I'm going to uh, be at the ready in case it decides to make a turn. Again, I'm going to cancel this lane change because it's still trying to turn over these little uh, dividers here. So far, so good to the tunnel. Getting out of the tunnel could also be a little bit challenging, but we're not going too far, luckily. Again, we just got to be aware of the aggression of the drivers. Uh, if you think about full self-driving, that was not the right thing to do. If you think about full self-driving, um, being a teenager, uh, a little bit of a timid driver, um, New York City is definitely the place that might freak them out. And it will also, again, allow the car to react differently because of the aggression of the drivers. Very, very extremely aggressive drivers, uh, livery drivers uh, for taxis and personal drivers, personal cars, Ubers, Lyfts, etc., all try to get from one place to the other, drop somebody off, pick somebody up, and it just gets very, very aggressive, very quickly. Now the car wants me to turn, so I guess, I don't know, I guess I should make, I can't make that maneuver, so see that? Here go the little bumpers I was talking about. I'll keep this on. It visualizes them. It's trying to make the turn, I'm gonna disengage. It keeps trying to make this turn over these bumpers, and that's not the right thing to do. So I'm gonna just keep it off until we can make the right turn, 
maybe we should have been in that lane and that's fine we can reroute accordingly but uh, it should not be trying to go over these bumpers under any circumstance because that could be nasty I'm going to re-engage. And again, this is sort of temporary construction. So 